And on this channel, we like to buy only when things are showing signs of going back up. So we don't tend to buy things like this. Let's review the stock market in order to find some buying opportunities. So right now, Tesla is down $3.39, 1.6% closed at 208. Let's look at what we have on the chart. We have a double support, 212, 28, and 217.65. If we go lower than that, then we should be going even further down. The only problem is that we have an earnings call this Wednesday. And uh, as you might know, Tesla has delivered uh, 494,000 cars, something like that. So this is 50,000 cars more than last quarter. So that's a lot of cars. So it remains to be seen what is going to be the profits. Are we going to get some profit surprise and earnings surprise this Wednesday? All bets are on. Let me tell you this, nobody knows. But right now, we did break below the support at 212.28. If we did not have any earnings call on Wednesday, then I would tell you, okay, we should be going further down. But now it could be turning back around on Wednesday. Nobody knows. So a way that you can deal with that if you want to is to buy a call and a put at the same time. The prices of the calls in the money with expiry this week is approximately 800 bucks. The calls uh, and the puts are 500 bucks. So the stock would need to move 1300 bucks in either direction before you start making some money. This is an option strategy to help when we don't know in which direction a stock would go. And when we are pretty sure that it's going to go in either direction, if it stays put, then you lose the uh, premium you paid for the options. But if it moves a lot, then it might be interesting. So this is just uh, one thing to keep in mind. Let's take a look at some Tesla news. So we have the Tesla Model 3 performance refresh spotted in the wild. So they are starting to come out. This will help the Tesla. And also Tesla finally released full self-driving version 12. It's last hope for self-driving. This is what Tesla writes. Full self-driving beta V12 upgrades the city streets, driving stack to a single end-to-end -end neural network trained on millions of video clips, replacing over 300,000 lines of explicit C++ code. We'll see if this is any good. Uh, things are going to start popping up uh, everywhere. Let's take a look at our VIX, the pulse in the stock market. So VIX is continuing its move down. We are happy to see this because... We generally want to go long. So there is no stochastic. Uh, we should be continuing our way down. U.S. Uh, government bonds. We are still in very little bullish channel. We have stochastic over 60 on it. This is a valid move up. So we are going to see soon, within a week or two, what is going to happen with this downward resistance we have right here. US dollar, it's still bullish. We are into a bullish trend, but right now it's weakening a little bit. So maybe just a pause. This is the only thing we can conclude for now. Let's take a look at our stock indices. Dow Jones, boom, continuing up. We were pausing a little bit on 37.787 and could not break it. Then boom, we have a break. This is a volume pulse. Same thing with NASDAQ, boom, we have the buy and pause. So these horizontal lines should now be green. And uh, continuing a little bit, QQQ, the same thing. Everything is insane. Let's take a look at our EV stocks. EV stocks are in the tank. So BYD going down. Uh, uh, Rivian, okay, 15, 6, 15, 17 is holding. Buyers are coming in. And the balance of power between the tug of war between the buyers and sellers is at an equilibrium right now. We'll see if it holds, but there's no move up yet. But if you want to really chance it, you can buy right now because maybe it's going to be the ultimate low, but we don't know until it's going to go back up. And when it goes back up, then you cannot buy that low because it's now gone. And on this channel, we like to buy only when things are showing signs of going back up. So we don't tend to buy things like this. 
Xpeng dropping again. This is a creator. Neo, the same thing. Apple continuing his move up. Now, there's some important resistance that we broke uh, last week right here. This one is especially important at 193.67. This one right here, this was a top in November and we broke that top here. Yes, of course, we have a lot of horizontal resistance at 198.35. This could be just a temporary move onto that 198. But if it continues after 198, then this is going to be very important. And we have this earnings call that is going to happen February 1st. So not uh, this week, but next week. And this all coincides. We have the February 1st. So maybe we are just going to not do much. And after the earnings, then maybe things are going to go a little bit higher. Arm caving in a little bit because of this resistance. This is what it should do. Palantir. Palantir, we had the move today, but we still have not broken some important resistance. So this is why we love technical analysis because it does not make us uh, panic too much. When we see a move up like this, but we don't really break the pattern at 1842, then we say, okay, this is just noise. It's noise until, until a pattern changes. So a break of 1842 right here would be a change in pattern. We have stochastic over 60. We could be having a buy impulse opportunity very soon. NVIDIA continuing just a little bit higher. AMD cooling down on the support. Look at this. I, this is perfection. Boom, boom. Right smack on the support. It's a bit late to buy it. Physical goal going sideways. Silver. Uh, oh, broke 760. So we stayed above it. This is not good news for silver. This was a milestone. And the milestone is gone. Bitcoin uh, going lower also broke a support that was holding since December. So weakening for Bitcoin. Ripple, the same thing. The support at 54.8 is now gone. So don't buy any crypto yet. Neo battery material. We seem to be bouncing, bouncing on this line right here. Yeah, this big move down was unfortunate, but uh, maybe we are going to get back into it soon. And Nouveau Mon Graphite climbing a little bit higher. So we don't know what this one uh, wants to do yet. It's not the time to buy at all. So yeah, Tesla, the big day is going to be uh, Thursday morning. What is going to happen on Thursday morning? So it's going to be, I think, a boring week until then. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you. À la prochaine.